Hope everybody's having a good day today. Um, I come out here to some more property today, the land that we went camping on uh, back in a few videos ago. Um, it was last month sometime. Um, it's got a little creek on it down here. The little green, that's the creek down there. Um, but uh, it's actually fairly full. I guess all the rain we had last week or so has, uh, you know, brought everything up a little bit. But uh, I was coming down here to kind of listen, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, to listen to the traffic you can hear out through here. And uh, the reason I want to listen is because one day I think I'm going to try to build a house out here. Um, don't know when, whenever my family figures out what they're going to do with the land. Um, but I think my mother's going to buy it and then I'll have a spot of it for me that I can buy and build me a place and uh, the you know I can't get my camera right but anyway the reason um, like I said is because I want to build a house so I listen to kind of see where the sounds coming from and I know well I'm fairly certain so well just for background the highway comes across back here off of a hill off of a bridge actually and that makes it even louder it goes all the way around and back up a hill way over here so what happens is and like i said there's a creek down here so i think what happens is when they cross on the far end here down the hill uh, and it's mainly 18 wheelers it's so bad um, but what happens is it reverberates through the uh, little valley that they've got right here with the creek running through and that sound just travels through the creek um, from both ends especially like i said when they run across the bridge way down here and that echo in the, you know, it's got a rock face and everything. There's one down here, a rock face down here. So all that sound just kind of gets funneled through the bottom here. And then also you hear it going around. But what we've noticed is, and this is what I was going to try to see, is where exactly it was. Cause I didn't really pay a lot of attention where. But on the edges, on the left side here and the right side, if you're facing the road that way, um, what happens is you get more of the sound but if you get kind of midways up here um somewhere in here i don't i, mean, I don't know how far i'd have to like i said go up there and that's what i'm gonna try to do but if you get up there um it's not as bad because the hill from the road where they you know made the four lane and piled their dirt up and made the embankment i think what happens is the sound in the middle you uh lets you kind of get away from the edges and you don't hear as much of that and the sound from the highway directly gets shot straight up in the air because the embankment just goes straight up so i'm just speculating on all that i don't know the you know the real reason but we did notice that so i want to try to get up there and see the difference in the sound from down here maybe you can hear to up there um and it all depends on how much traffic you get at any moment. But that's why I was coming down here. I've got the uh, AR-15 just in case I see an armadillo or something like that. But um, like I said, the main reason was just to kind of walk around and uh, kind of get my bearings again. Because we've only walked through the pines one other time. And I just want to kind of see where I'm at and see maybe where a good home place would be. Um, I think it'd be a great place out here. So... I'm just, I'm itching to build out here. I just don't know when we're gonna do it. So we'll see. And uh, I'll uh, try to get up through the pines if I can find a way to get through the little undergrowth. So anyway, I'm gonna head on uh, that way. Here's a better view of the creek down here. I just hope that one day this is my view of my backyard. I just really like being out here. It's, you know, not exactly quiet because you can still hear the cars, but I just love having the creek here and uh, this little easy, steady hill going down to the creek. Um, we actually camped right back up here the other day. Um, there's, I think the wood, yeah, the wood pile there. Um, I hung my hammock one time right here and then I put my tent there the other day um but i've you know done a lot of shooting down here there's some videos of me and my buddy grant shooting down here 
um, flying the drone. There's a few videos of that. I just really like the property and uh, I just would love to have this as my backyard one day. Uh, it's kind of hard to see because of the way the sun's coming in. It's kind of blown out, but uh, it's a lot prettier in person. Um, but like I said, that's my goal is to uh, live out here and I don't see any reason why I'd want to be anywhere else at any other time. So um, I'd probably just live out here forever. <laughs> so anyway, I just really enjoy it here. It's um, close enough to town where you can still, you know, be, you know, within reason, you know, to get somewhere real quick. Within five minutes, I can be to town. I can be to a Dollar General that got built out in the country here five minutes. So uh, it's probably uh, it's probably 10 minutes to Walmart, five minutes to Dollar General, and you're in town if you're at Walmart. So it's close enough in that it's not inconvenient, but it's just far enough out where you can enjoy this and not have anybody to bother you um, except for the highway. So that's the biggest drawback is the highway. And if that's all it is, I'm not too worried about it. So anyway, that's, like I said, that's just why I love it out here because it's quiet. And we've kept the grass cut this year, or this past year. And uh, we uh, let it get up high down there. And then we cut the rest of it, cut a lane out down there. So we didn't exactly do everything, um, but we tried to keep this good because we shoot a lot of guns out here in target practice. So we wanted to have somewhere that we could come and enjoy it. So um, like I said, I just come out here, well, during the spring, we come out here once a week, but uh, during the summer, we finally got it to where we could come every two weeks. But really most of this year, we came almost every week, um, except for a few odd ones. And then it kind of slowed down at the end of the year but uh, it just had a lot of rain, so we had to, because if we don't, a lot of Johnson grass is out here and that stuff gets, uh, well, as high as that other, which is about six foot. So um, it dies out, but during when it's growing, I could hide a lawnmower out in the middle of this. So anyway, we'll go down here to the creek and I'll video here since the water is so high and it's nice when it's really rolling. Um, it's not real clear today, but it's not really dirty either. I've seen it where it's been like red, muddy, uh, but it's just got a lot of water in it flowing. We've actually took canoes from down there um, around the other side and then floated it all the way down this other side um, for about three hours and took a half day of it and it actually goes to one of the big lakes. This this is the water that feeds it. Um, this creek's named after the lake. It's Cedar Creek and then Cedar Lake. So uh, this feeds the lake out there. Um, yeah, it's really full today. See, it just drops off right there. Um, but there's plenty of water in here. And then it's really flowing through there too. Really full. It's nice to see it full. Me and my buddy Grant, we actually camped out here on this sandbar in 2007. Um, since then, it's kind of changed because I don't remember it being as like hilly right there, that's kind of a, well, right there is kind of a hill, um, or it's uneven. It was more flat and probably less trees on it, but um, it just, it's kind of always changing because uh, it's a creek and you get, you know, water washing in and out. But we actually were able to get down in there. It was on like October 27th or something of 07. It was our first camping trip together, I think, but we camped, uh, actually, I'm sorry. We camped up here, but we ate breakfast down there. I've got a video of it. I'll actually post it in this video. It's terrible quality, um, but uh, it is what it is. So you can see that. Ooh. Everybody, look what you missed. Bacon. We got biscuits over here too. Look at biscuits. We got biscuits. biscuits. And we got eggs, we're gonna cook eggs a little later. Is everybody okay? Fire is pretty stirred. Do I have to video in a little bit? And here's Grant. He's cooking his bacon. Bacon. Off for the camera.
Got the rest of her bacon right there, all grease infested. Got her fire going. Give you a little view. Got a nice little view. We're just sitting on the on Cedar Creek right in the middle. The water's really low. We'd normally be underwater right now. But it's worth it. I mean, it's very pretty. Everyone should be here. And Grant his bacon again. And uh, it was a good day. Uh, as you've seen, yeah, we made a lot of bacon. And uh, that's still what I focus on is eating and bacon. So anyway, but uh, there's a lot of good memories out here. And I can't wait to maybe possibly in the future live out here. So anyway, uh, we'll keep walking down. And then we'll try to make our way inside the trees. I'm just going to keep kind of moving along slow I'm not in any kind of hurry because I don't have any work right now and I'm gonna enjoy every day I can so anyway let's keep on moving normally all that's pretty much exposed so uh, it's got a real good flow today. There's that other rock wall I was talking about. It kind of reverberates the sound. I've been on the top of there, walked across the ridge. It's hard to get over there, especially when the water's high. It'd be about impossible today, but we also own what's over there. So we need a little cable over there tied to one of these trees and that tree. That way we could uh, do like a zip line across. It'd be neat. We could do like a, uh, we could build a tower on this side, high, and then go down, or pretty much across, but it had to be a little down, and then we could have the other one come down to the ground or whatever, or anyway, something like that. Um, but that would be a neat way to cross the creek. But anyway, it's just a ton of water, which is not normally the case. It just a lot of rainfall lately. So anyway. I was back here in the pine trees. Roads that way. I'm still hearing a lot of noise. I can't remember where I was exactly at the other day, whether I was a little further back this way where I came from, um, or if I was down the other way. Um, Cause I can still hear a lot. But like I said, um, if all I hear is cars, um, I can get used to that. I'm just trying to see where the best place to put anything would be. Which, to be honest, in this little area seems good. It gets a little flatter up top there. Um, but like I said, I'm gonna go over this side and see if maybe there was a better spot down a little further. Um, it's just kind of a gradual grade right here. It's not too bad. So I'm gonna go cross over this little low area and then uh, see if I can find a better place as far as the noise, see if it's any better. Well, I just got back to the truck. Um, I didn't actually walk all the way through the trees. I actually went down and caught back up to the road that I was on when I first started making the video. That's actually about where I walked through. Um, but anyway, I enjoyed the little hike I had. I think the place that I was standing at in the trees is actually the place um, that's probably the most quiet, but uh, I just couldn't tell at the time. Uh, but I believe it is the place we found uh, but it's getting a little dark now and I can't really stay too long or it'll get dark pretty quick. So, uh, and my camera's about to die too. So be a good time to go. So I'm going to head home. I don't know what my plans are tonight. My dad's coming into town, so we may go eat or something, but I'm going to let you go here. Uh, if you like the video, subscribe, uh, check some of my other videos out. I'll try to post a few more, uh, you know, links and things in the description like I did yesterday. Uh, watch yesterday's video too. I'll link it in the description if I remember to. I sometimes forget. Um, but uh, it's pretty cool just uh, flying the drone around video. So it's long though. I was just talking the whole time, but it was neat to me to see the video um, once I got done and I wanted to see the property. So anyway, uh, like I said, I'll uh, let you go and I will see you again in the next upload.